Hi, this is Jerry from AppDataWorks IT Consulting Services. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure your PC to use a fixed IP address on your local area network. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into your router configuration screen. In most home uh, networks, it's going to be http colon slash slash 192.168.0.1. Sometimes it's 192.168.1.1. But in, in my case, it's a zero, 01. Okay, so we're going to get to that. And I've already logged in. And what I really want to do now is I want to find out what, what is the range of IP addresses that I don't want to use. What I don't want to use are the ones that are assigned by DHCP. So that's going to be by going into um, my gateway. But every router you have is going to be different. Each one will have a web-based interface like this. That you'll, that you'll access, and what you want to basically do is look for the DHCP settings. So you go into DHCP, and now this is saying private addresses are starting at 192.168.0.140 for 40 addresses. So basically, that's saying that I, I'm going to allow this block of 40 addresses, 140 through 179, to be owned by DHCP for doling them out to various computers, any kind of mobile devices, tablets, phones that you have that hook up to your uh, network at home or in your office. So we're saying that these 40. So now I, I can set IP addresses below 140 or above 179. So I particularly like to use the ones above the range and save the lower numbers for servers. So in the case of PCs, this is my personal preference. You can use whatever you want, but as long as it's outside of that range, uh, whatever DHCP is using to assign addresses. Now, if you look down here, you're going to find two fixed static IP addresses, 180 and 181. So what I'm going to want to do now is I'm going to want to use 182. So now that I know that, what I need to do is I need to get the information for this particular router so that I can use it to plug it into the settings for the IP address. So here, here's the local settings. This is the gateway address. This is the subnet mask. And these are the private ranges. And that's pretty much all I need from here. And then here is the DNS. This is what I'm going to need for my DNS settings, OK? Now I've already copied them into another file right now, so I'm, I'm just going to use that basically and eyeball that while I type them into the settings. So the, what you're going to need to do now is go into the control panel, go into the network and sharing center, and click on change adapter settings. Find your adapter. It could be your Wi-Fi. I don't use Wi-Fi on this computer, so it's a wired network. Um, you're going to click on status. And look, if we look right now, I've got an assigned IP address of 152. That's assigned. That's in that block of 140 through 179. All right, so what I want to do is I want to set it. So I'm going to click Properties. I'm going to go scroll this list, find Internet Protocol version 4, IP IPv4, click that, click properties, change this to use the following IP address, and I'm going to use 192.168.0.182. The subnet mask will fill in automatically. That's the basic default that most systems will use. And the gateway is 192.168.0.1. And he, these are the DNS servers from before 65.32.5.111.65.32.5.111. One twelve, and that's it. Done deal. All set. Completely done. Now, if we look at status again, we will find that my IP address is one eighty two. I hope that helps. This is Jerry from AppDataWorks IT Consulting Services. Have an awesome day. Hey.